All right, today I'm gonna show you how to do a uh, crawfish trap. So you get a water bottle like this, or we're gonna do a two liter in a second, a big, a bigger one. <clears throat> but all you gotta do is you have to cut pretty much like right there. Make the first cut, and then use scissors. Right there. You try to go around as smooth as you can. You want it to all be even. All right, you need that. And then you cut about right there. Go around it like that, kind of. It's a little bit hard because it's harder plastic in a little area. So. All right, so you need that. <clears throat> then all you do, pretty much, is you drop that right in there, push it down, and uh, there's a crawfish trap. I wish I could get a better angle, but pretty much it's like you go in there, you put your bait in there, probably cat food or dog food or like fish guts or something like that. Or you can buy some if you're really rich, but um, but the crawfish go in the hole, and then they um, the bait's in there. They try to get the bait, but they can't come out because the ledge is right in there. The ledge is along there where you enter the hole. The ledges they can't come out. So all right, so that's one. have your most chance of catching whatever crawfish you're gonna catch or wherever you're gonna catch it but you want to remove the labeling on the bigger ones the best you can you don't have to be perfect and then you want to cut about right there that right there you want to cut it over right there. the cleanest cut ever but it'll do <clears throat> and now you want to cut about right there cut right in there I might be able to do this since it's thinner So you want to cut around there just like we did the last one.
There we go. All right. There's a hole. Then you just feed it right in there. In there. Like that. If you made, and if you made your hole too small, then you probably just recommend tape. So yeah. Well, I kind of messed that one up. But still, you know the concept. Try not to be a retard like me. So, yeah, I mean, it fits in there. We'll just have to tape around the edges, but it's fine. Because it still has the right angle and everything. So the crawfish can't get out. Get out, but they can still get in. Uh, where did it tape at? There. So. I would recommend better, stronger hold, and better underneath the water. But yeah, so you try to put that around there. Put that around there. Cut it. There we go. Alright, so then, you got that right there. Put your too small thing in there. Just kind of sad. So, put it in there. Like that. And then, tape it. So, sadly, it's not the cleanest job, but it'll work. You see right there that it has the angles and right, but it's not the cleanest job. Sadly, we don't have any more two liters of Sprite. Sprite works better. Don't do Dr. Pepper because it, like, you want the angle right there to be straight down and like a cone so they can't get out. But if, like, Dr. Pepper has that curved lid or whatever, like these right here, they have the curved lid. And that would be make it easier for the crawfish to get out. So you don't want to do that. But you just make the make it get any soda that has a cone. I think Fan has a cone or something like that. But yeah. So this is how you make a crawfish trap. We made some other ones, like some out of water bottles. We made this one a double so it has the end right there. We cut off the back and uh joined joined them together. And then we put this right here, the thing. I don't know if it'll work because it's kind of it's square. The water balls are square, but um, but yeah, I don't know if this will will work that good. But we're gonna try it. And then Sprite, like, bruh. like this one. Just that's easier because it has the cone. And this one right here. Here's another joined water bottle. 
So yeah, this is how you make crawfish traps. And anywhere you are in a river, a stream, like I said, the bait is usually, um, the bait's usually going to be, the bait is usually going to be probably like catfish or fish guts or something like that. So that's what we use. All right, guys. Sorry I said catfish. I meant cat food or dog food. Either one is pretty good. Uh, we're gonna use these fish right here. We're gonna chop them up and uh, Dad's uh, Grayson's dad is him right there. He's a uh, and his dad. He's they're my cousins He's a uh, striper fisherman at Lake Lanier and uh, He had those in his bait tank, so Yeah, so we're gonna chop them up. Grayson's gonna do the honors All right, go ahead. Okay. We're gonna start off right here behind the head. So you get every inch of it. It's gonna be bloody. So we're gonna have that head, okay? And you're gonna chop it up in little pieces. And if you don't like this, just go to the end of the video. Yeah, it's kinda gory. Don't matter though. So what you gotta do when you so when we wanna catch stuff, you gotta bring it on. We gotta take a shower. Guess we gotta take a shower. Okay, now we got two heads. We probably we probably won't I don't know if we will do those, but I don't know. We might. They're so slippery. They slip out of your hands. We'll do one more cut. And we'll finish with these. Okay, now we have these. All right. Now we have these pieces. And now you can put these cat food in a separate one. And we'll show you that how to put the cat food in and put the dead fish in. And I'll demonstrate that. Okay, we have the big Sprite bottle that we messed showed you. Messed up. Yeah, messed <laughs> up on. So we're gonna put some fish in there. And cat food. No. And cat food. And cat food. Cat food. Just a little cat food. And two pieces in each one. Now we're gonna do, and they can smell that. So they're gonna crawl up in there and they're not gonna be able to get back out. So now we're gonna set another one. Easy as crap. Yeah, all you do is put them right in there. Yeah. That's all you do, put it, some cat food in there. Be generous with it though. Like, you know, you gotta put a good amount in each one of cat food and just de dead fish, cause I mean, two pieces in each one cause we don't have that much. But yeah, so cat food. They're mostly overpowered on cat food. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do all these. Can I do it? Yeah. Here, do that other one over there. The, oh one yeah, the... get, that, get the two bottle one. Here's some more cat food. Here's some more cat food, gotcha. Huh? Here's some more cat food. Like a bunch of cats everywhere. When, They're annoying. Yeah, when they bought the house, um, when they when they, when we they bought the house, there was a bunch of cats just roaming around everywhere, and they just had recently these little babies. They're so cute. They play with each other. This one's a playful one. Looks like a little tiger. Looks like a little tiger, don't you? It's 
But that's Oreo. He's kind of scared. So yeah, at this moment we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I think we have nine, maybe eight. That's just pretty much what you want to do with all of them. Be generous with the cat food. So yeah. This is how you use, this is how you make and bait. Cat cat Not cat food. Oh my gosh. Cat right. crawfish. This is how you make and bake. Make and bait crawfish traps. I'll see you next time on 3D Wheeling.